good morning slash good afternoon. We are heading down to the center of Moscow. We're just walking through some different streets today. Um, then the main street, just checking out some different sites. It's really nice to just kind of get a feel for the city by walking around and getting an idea of what it's like. Um, but we- Beautiful day out too, which is nice. It's supposed to be raining, but it's really beautiful. So we actually booked a, a, a Moscow Metro tour. Figured it'd be underground and, and then go to a museum. To yeah, we're gonna go to the Museum of, of Cosmos. Cosmonauts. Cosmonaut. Which used to just be focused on the Russian space program, but I read that recently they expanded it and now it focuses on space programs around the world. So that'll be really interesting. Yeah, we're looking forward to learning a little more about that and seeing the history on it. Yeah. Um, but we're really excited for the Moscow Metro Tour because their metro system in all these cities is supposed to be beautiful, like, like works of art. And Moscow's supposed to have one of the best ones. So we're doing a tour specifically for an hour and a half, walking around, checking out some of those amazing different scenes. And we'll show you what it's all about. We'll show you the best ones and how to book it. And, yes. and fun facts. Fun facts, all the fun facts, always fun facts. Just to get a feel for what the center of sort of the downtown core here in Moscow looks like, it's really beautiful. They have these super wide streets. It's very like Chandelier-esque. And they have a number of streets like this. It's just a really, really nice city to walk around in. Some more little walking streets and areas to hang out. Just stop for a quick coffee. We grabbed a quick coffee and I've been trying to find a Russian national team jersey for ages and cannot find anything. Can find Moscow's team, but not the Russian national team. Ask play ask sports stores, everything, it's crazy that you can't find it. But a lot of Katie found a, a Moscow. Something Nike I put shirt. one of our Instagram posts too is like it's more city pride, so maybe it's just not as big of a thing. And I don't want to just order it online because I know I can do that. I wanted to buy it when I was here. Anyways, yeah. we're heading to the Moscow underground now. Hopefully it starts to rain just so that we feel better about not being, not missing out on this beautiful sun. And we'll see you next in the underground. <laughs> Sovietism to try and get rid of all the, the Soviet communism. Look at that shock and awe on her face. Roofs of this station have these mosaics, there's eight of them, and they're all history sort of throughout time. And a bunch of them had Stalin on them, and now they all pretty much have Lenin on them. That's a beautiful station. It's huge like a palace. The station was used as a library at one time, because a lot of the stations had um, had a whole variety of different sorts of things. They used this bomb shelter as a library. There was places where the hospitals, kindergartens, and whatnot. And this was a library, so you could come here and read and forget about your day. Forget about the bombings. Lucky 
Ricky to rub the golden cock. It's like our one at home. We have one of these at home. So you rub the dog to help you with exams. Good luck for your exams. And here you rub the knee of the woman. So the Russians have lots of superstitions and beliefs and so various parts of these statues you can see are all polished and that's because they'd walk by and rub them for, for luck for different reasons. finished our tour of the underground and the metro stations and that was really cool really unique really quick short tours it's really easy to do uh, just a quick hour and a half and now we're going to the Museum of Cosmonautics which you can't miss yep and we're hoping that they'll let us go to space Whew, rocket to space so when you get here at the I'm not even gonna pronounce it, it's like VDNKH metro stop you can't miss it um, but it was we our tour was with who is it that was um, tours of Moscow I think is what the name company name is um, from Get Your Guide. Yeah, we booked it on Get Your Guide. It was like twenty-two dollars or twenty-three, twenty-two dollars a person Canadian. Super cheap. Yeah, I think um, the other tour was fifteen euros, so it'll be depending on I think whatever the exchange rate is. Yeah, and it was it was awesome. It was a really good tour. It was really interesting. Just so much easier than having to do it yourself. Um, for twenty bucks, might as well just get under there and it have a guide. Had photos too, like before and after photos. Yeah, with like Stalin in them and things. And it was just really interesting. So highly recommended something to do. And then now we'll tell you all about the Cosmonautics Museum. Looking forward to this one too. Spaceman, spaceman. The inside part of a space station spacecraft looked like. It's kind of cool. This is a carrier to send a crew up to space. So we're gonna send Katie. I think it's just one person, so I think it's for three it says. Three. I'm not oh, really not little baskets? Maybe. Uh, that's a that's a tight that's a tight tight little spot. Sorry, see you later. So you got like different kind of like rocket sort of info and it's really kind of interesting because it's got a lot of info on both the US and USSR and, and space exploration in general. Just finished the museum and now Katie's trying to do, take the most artistic of pictures. You really can't miss, miss the museum because this is the big monument out front of it. And the museum's right underneath. Down, down, down we go. Down. We're walking through the metro right now on our way back to our hotel and it's actually really easy to use. Um, it's pretty straightforward, the signs are all in English, it's not that difficult. So highly recommend trying to use it, especially if you're coming here to see how beautiful it is. Uh, now we're just trying to figure out which station we take to our hotel, but it's all pretty straightforward and pretty easy. It just gets a little bit busy and hectic in, in busy times. It's not bad though, and everyone like respect, very loud, respect your space and it's cool. And... One last video showing the train stations. It's really cool because these are like the old Soviet trains. So you can see how old they look. Check out our most recent other videos over here, or subscribe to our other channel over here.